Good morning. Today is another EMOM every minute on the minute. I have five exercises for you today. It's freezing outside, so we're going to be inside today. What do you need? Water, a heavy dumbbell, a set of medium or light dumbbells, and a yoga mat. We're going to be working your body head to toe, doing sets of 10 for each exercise. Let's march it out right here. Okay. Great big deep breath up right here. I've got lots of good comments on the EMOM, so I want to do it again. If you do this, please write me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you loved it, if you didn't like it. I also take requests, but I also want to know if you do it. Give me a little step touch right here. I'd like to know what I do is actually being done by people. Hamstring curl right here. Hang on, I got off feet. Hate when that happens. There we go. Okay. Now, the great thing about the EMOM, there is a work period and rest period. So we go from one exercise, rest, to the next, and we go through each one, I think about five times. I want it to be challenging, but I don't want it to crush you. Please modify if you are new or a beginner. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe so you know whenever I put out a new video. Last four, three. Now give me a punch front right here, punch front. Excellent. There's four, three. Reach up right here, reach up. I do love, I get an email every time you comment and I love getting those emails that you did something. Four more like that. Here's three, two, one. Feet are wider than your hips, toes up in your shoes, give me a half squat. Easy, getting that body warmed up. It, there is frost outside, which means it's cold where I live. And if you're just doing this, I want you properly warmed up so you are ready for the workout ahead. Last two, hold it here, down from here. A little bit down, halfway up. That's right, we are getting to work right away. More and more like that, legs should be feeling it. Discomfort is good during a workout. One more, singles down and up right here. All the way down. Woo, does that feel good? Always want your weight back in your heels, toes up in your shoes when you're squatting. Here's three, two, one. Now stay right here, but I want your feet wider. This is plie. We'll be doing this a little bit later. Same thing, wider, down for two. Still warming up. Oh boy. Slow and controlled. Ready? Always two and two. Here we go. Down. Down, oh, squeeze those glutes on the way up. That's it. Couple more like that. How are you feeling? Positive mindset, please. It's gonna be challenging, but you're gonna feel amazing at the end. I've been getting a lot of comments lately. How do you stay motivated? I'm not motivated. I'm not doing it. Make yourself. Think about when you're a little kid. Who would like to brush your teeth? Nobody, but we did it. Same thing with exercise. I don't care if you want to do it. You always feel better afterwards. Make yourself, the motivation will come. You can't wait for motivation to strike you. You have to adult yourself. You have to man up or woman up and make yourself do it. Last one right here. Okay, low back stretch, quick warm up ready. Here we go. If you feel like you need more, pause this. Put on your favorite song from the 80s and dance. That's always a good uh, break during the day too. One more. Look over your shoulder for two right here. And switch. Let's do it again. Excellent. Let's go one more time each way. Down to the center for two. Roll it up. Okay. Our first exercise, are you ready? I'm so excited. It's gonna be a plie with a row. Heavy. Eight to 10, I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet. So if you don't have a kettlebell, you can hold on to one dumbbell or even two. Practice round. Here, here. I'm, I'm telling you to say eight, because this is pretty heavy. Okay, here we go. Here's eight. We're not rushing through this because we have a whole minute. Seven. Six. Excellent. Five. Breathe out, please. 
Toes still up in your shoes, last three right here. Actually, we're gonna go to 10 because we have plenty of time. Two, to get to eight. That's eight. We can do two more. One more. Okay, bend down with your knees always. Pick up one of your weights. Next up is gonna be a single leg deadlift. I'm coming to the side, weights in one hand. Looking down here, right back up. That's a hello hamstrings and glute exercise. So if the weight's in the right hand, that right leg is going back. We're doing 10 of these two, here we go. Now your body is gonna to wanna to go fast. Momentum will make these easier. Whoops, you might fall over, that's okay too. Someone control is always better. Halfway there, please don't go faster than me. I will give you a speeding ticket. Kidding, but no. Slower, always better when it comes to strength. We have three more. Keep that weight in that front heel. Here's two, one more. And guess what? We have 15 seconds to rest before I go to the next one. Yes, balance challenge. Guess what works? Your core. Please don't hold your breath. I don't think I reminded you to breathe on that one. And roll your shoulders back. Keep that body straight as we do this. Here we go. How low you go? Totally up to you. I'm going about to my knee. You can go lower. Or, that was a terrible one. My balance is not nearly as good on this side. Um, you can go lower, you can go higher. What you can't do is go faster. You can go slower. We are halfway there. And breathe. Three to go. Are you getting a little hot and sweaty? I certainly hope so. Last two right here. Here's two. Sorry. Okay. Let's get that mat out. Sorry, Siri just went off in the middle of that. I shouldn't even say that name, which messes up my time, but that's okay. Next up, we're gonna do a skull crusher. What that is, gonna be on the ground, arms up over here, just above your head. Please don't touch your head. He can be down or then they can be up. We're gonna do 15, here we go. This is bat wing central right here. Keep those elbows tucked in. They wanna come out. If your weight is too heavy, you can certainly grab two lighter weights, one in each hand. That's absolutely fine. Slow and controlled. I keep my feet up to keep my back pressed against the mat, but you can certainly have your legs down. If you do, just make sure you press that back into the mat. We have five more to go right here. There's plenty of time. Last two. Triceps should be feeling it. Okay. Last one before I start the with the plie. It's gonna be an out. And, and let me try to stay in frame. We're gonna do probably 10 of these two. Ready? Here we go. Extend. Now if you feel this in your back, one leg at a time, please, to keep that back supported. If the weight is too heavy, get a lighter weight or even no weight is fine. Press that back against the floor and breathe. Excellent work. Breathe out on the mark bar. Please don't hold your breath. We have two more right here. One more right here. Okay. Okay, friends, team, round one is done. Get a drink whenever you need to. Please don't wait for me to get a drink. We're starting right back with that plie and that row. That's all I'm asking, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. 
Let's go, just 10. Here we go. Here's 10. Guess what, this also works. Let's see. Shoulders, legs, core. Head to toe exercise, this one is. Come on. Halfway there. Stay slow and control with me. That's six. We always on the hard part, as opposed to holding your breath. Last two. Last one right here. Bend down. One leg deadlift is next. Quick drink for me. Please get a heavier weight if you need it or lighter weight. We're doing 10 on each side. Here we go. Your other hand, sorry, I'm saying frame, can be out to the side. I always just put mine behind my back, but it can totally be out here, wherever it's comfortable for you. Slow and control with me, please. <sighs> Halfway there, come on. Are you moaning and groaning like I am? And falling over? I love these so much. So good for our glutes, so good, good for our balance. One more. Now, if these are impossible for you, you could actually bring a chair and put the chair down to hold for balance. If you're falling over like crazy, use props. Five more seconds. I love the EMOMs, they're so fun. Okay, ready? And if you didn't hear at the beginning, it stands for every minute on the minute. We do a certain amount of reps and then we rest. I like it. Upper, lower, upper, lower. Well, actually the first two are lower, but our legs are so strong. They can take anything. Last three right here. There's three. Then we're gonna get on the ground for the skull crusher. One more. Excellent work. Put my little bell up here. Come out with the mat again. Fat wings be gone right here. Although, you know, if you are carrying extra weight, a calorie deficit is what's going to help you. Ready? Here we go. Lose the weight. These will work on the muscles underneath your triceps, which as women, unfortunately, we tend to hold weight there. And we do not have a lot of everyday activities that use our triceps, but certainly focusing on them three to four times a week with different exercises is a great way to tone them up. We have five more right here. And if you don't know what a calorie deficit is, it is eating a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot, last two, then your body needs to lose weight. There is nothing good about a great big calorie deficit. When people go too low, that leads to binging every single time. So a moderate deficit, so your life is not miserable. Okay, here we go. Out. Slow and controlled, out for two. Out for two. Lots of options with this dumbbell. You can grab a lighter dumbbell. You can grab a heavier dumbbell. You can leave one foot on the ground. Extend those arms far away. Lead out with your heels. Your hands and heels are doing a tug of war at the end. Out. Press. Four more right here. Come on. Stay with me. Three to go. Here's three. Last two right here. Two. One more. Out. Okay. Let's put that down. Come on up. How are you doing? Are you hanging in there? We have at least two more rounds. Let's see how that feels after that. Going with that plie row. Just 10. Here we go. 
you know what, and don't do what I just did. I leaned over and grabbed it with one arm. Do as I say, not as I do. Bend those knees, use both hands when you pick something up. Almost it's super light, but still, you always wanna bend your knees. You're halfway there right here. You're breathing. You're staying up nice and tall with me. Chest always faces me, never the ground. Last two. There's two. There you go, bend down with both knees. Quick trick if you want, we have the one leg deadlift next. Do you love these? Do you hate these? Not sure? Ready, here you go. One, down, up, down. He's staying slow in control with me. Oh. Come on, you got this. Breathe out, use that breath to help you balance. Come on. Yep. Sorry for my funny noises. Hammies are working hard, as are yours. Last one right here. Do you know what secret? I count with my fingers behind my back. You know my tricks, that's it. When I say 10, I wanna do 10. But I always do put my hand behind my back, but it's a, uh, it's my point, because I'm not doing it to the beat of the music. 10, ready, here we go. If we were doing it to the beat, I could count that way, but we're a little bit slower. Of course, that was perfectly on beat. And if you don't hear the beat, that's okay too. Show yourself grace. When you fall over, please. Your sleep affects your balance. Your hormones affect your balance. If you're in menopause, it affects your balance. I'm gonna do two more. You can laugh at me or with me. My sleep has been bad the last two nights and it's showing in my balance right now. Oh, that was so much better, okay. I'm telling you, this menopause sleep, crazy. Skull pressures do not hit your head. Here we go. Arms slightly behind you. Down, bring it up. Come on, breathe out. Your triceps should totally be feeling this by now. Come on. Keep those elbows tucked in, even though they want to come out. It will make it easier if they come out. You were not here with me to have an easy workout. You are here for an efficient, strong, awesome workout. Come on, we have five more to go. Last two, which I know you can do. Two. Team, rest. And if you need more help, if you like my workouts, you need more help with your food. I have a group coaching program, the Perfect Balance Tribe with the private Facebook group. Message me, I will be happy to tell you about it. Or I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Ready, here we go. What am I going to talk about? Food. Eating more protein. Eating more apples. <laughs> Making sure they have all enough veggies in their day. That kind of stuff. Out, reach in, bring it in, come on. Out, press, that's it. Out, press, breathe. If that back is starting to get sore, leave one leg on the ground. Out, if your arms are getting sore, put the weight down or grab a lighter dumbbell. We have two more right here. Two, one more here. And then we're just gonna leave that right there. One more left, we got this, let's go. One more round and then we'll stretch. I did that again, oh my gosh. 
Sorry. Here we go. I think I bent my knee that time, but still, you should really pick it up with both knees bent and both hands. Three, come on, breathe out. Make this your best one. You are strong, you feel amazing. Three more to go. Last two, there's two. down the right way. I just ooh, don't want you to ever hurt your back picking up weights or putting them down. Bend down, grab that single dumbbell. Let's breathe and have amazing balance, shall we? Here we go. I also like the EMOM every minute on the minute because it gives you a little bit of rest, but not too much rest. And if you've done any of my other videos, you know, I do not like a lot of rest. I want to have your time with me be efficient and effective. I see so many people taking so long between sets of things when I'm thinking, if you just did upper body, you can do lower body. Why are you resting? Then right there. You're busy, you have things to do. If we didn't take such a little rest, this could be an hour workout, then you worked out for an hour, but guess what? This is gonna be probably 25 minutes of dedicated work where we had very little rest. And then starts at the end, of course. But I'm saying your workouts can be more efficient with less rest or simply alternating upper, lower upper lower, or upper lower core, upper lower core. But again, this lower body workout, right? But guess what, it's also working hard. Your core, because your core is involved in everything. So dedicated core is fine, but please know, a lot of your strength moves involve your core as well. Only two left, because that's what my fingers say behind my back. One more. Uh, you know my trade secrets. Okay. Skull crushers. Last set. Yep, 15 is a lot. But we're stopping them from waving in the wind. That's what we're doing. Little by little. One day at a time. Okay. Arms up. Arms slightly behind your head. Feet down or up. Here we go. It is your job during this set. Keeping those elbows in. Breathe out on the way up. Please believe in yourself, even when it's getting hard. It's okay to push when your muscles are trying to complain. Being uncomfortable, I'd say that's an absolutely yes during a workout. Come on, how strong do you feel right now? Hopefully, super strong, because you're gonna finish this in three, two, one. You did it, oh my gosh, that was so hard. Yes, me too, I told you my triceps were screaming that whole time. We're gonna finish with the core and then I'm gonna put on some fluffy music for the stretch because we're not stretching this music, that's terrible. Okay, last set, ready, here we go. Out, bring it back in, guess what? Your triceps should feel this. And you're breathing out as you extend. Come on. How are you feeling? I want you to finish this strong. Your Karate Kid fan, finish it! Come on, finish it. We have five more to go, because we can. And it's the last set. Three, two, one. Put that dumbbell down, and I want you to stay here and stretch it all the way out. Well, I put on some stretching music. Okay, 
High five. Great job. Turn this so and stay in frame while we stretch. Okay. Your body's nice and tall. Ooh. Deep breath. <clears throat> Excuse me. And through your nose. And blow it out. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. And out. Okay, let's bring your knees into your chest and roll side by side. Knees just gently. You can go as far as you want or just a little bit. Let's leave one knee in. Scoot up. One knee in. So my right knee is in, my left hand is on that right knee. I'm gonna bring it across my body for a beautiful spinal stretch. And if uh, my leg is going left, I'm looking right. That just makes it a little bit more, you'll notice if you look the same way, it doesn't feel as good as if you look the other way. You just get that little bit more of a stretch and keep breathing. I hope you feel really great about your work today. If you need different dumbbells, go out and get them. I think the um, switch, the whole shortage <clears throat> that we used to have, I think that's over. Buy them on Amazon. You know what, Facebook Marketplace is also a great place to get used equipment. And who cares if they're used dumbbells? They work. Opposite hand on that, and let's come across. <clears throat> and look the other way. So many people have the best intentions. I'm looking at you because I don't, don't want to turn my head away of working out and they don't, so they end up selling their equipment. So that's a great place to look. I want you to breathe. Nice shoulder stretch too. I'm gonna let you come back to the center, hands at your hamstrings, pull yourself up. I'm gonna do a seated forward fold. Everybody's different. If this is enough for you, stay here. You can walk your hands down if you need a little bit more. You can touch your ankles. You can grab your toes. You can come down a little further. Whatever is best for you. I'm gonna stay here so I can keep on looking at you. But if you're super stretchy and wanna get lower, amazing. Be happy with where you're at. I want you just to enjoy the stretch, not think I can't go down as far as she can. Who cares? We're all at different levels. Embrace where you are right now and know that the more you do it, the better you're gonna feel. And don't wait for the motivation. Make yourself do it. Okay, let's come on up. <clears throat> One foot's gonna be bent, opposite foot on your knee, and you're gonna drop that other knee away. Now you can do this on the ground. This is a pigeon from yoga, but I don't wanna face away from me with my head down, so we're staying right here. Now this knee, if you bring it towards the ground more, that's an outer hip and glute stretch, boy does that feel good. Our hips get so tight from all the sitting we do, myself included. Ready, come on up. Foot on your opposite knee and bring that way. And you'll notice, just like when we did our balance, one side's better, one side definitely has more flexibility as well. We are not balanced on the right and left side, obviously, and that's totally okay. Raise your hand if you've had a great workout today. Put your hand, fingertips on your shoulder blades and bring that elbow back. This is to stretch out those triceps that work so hard for us today. Breathe into where you feel that. Switch sides, other fingertips up. I want your chin down at your chest. If you look up, that puts your neck at a funny angle, and I definitely always want to protect your neck. We're going to keep our chin tucked in. We're going to release those arms, place your hands behind you, press your shoulders down and away. And that bring those arms up just a little bit. And raise you out to the front. Grab your back. And great big deep breath, breathe up and bring it out. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Remember, every minute that you spend on yourself is worth it because 
your health is your greatest wealth. Now go out and have a great day.